Today we are going to log in to the HG323 RGW Realtek VD5 chipset. First of all, we need to set a computer LAN adapter IP. For that, press the Windows key plus the R key on your keyboard. Then enter the command ncpa.cpl and click OK. This is the Ethernet page. You can see the active Ethernet here. Double click on it. Click on Properties, then select Internet Protocol version 4. Here, you need to click on Use the following IP address and give the IP address. The default IP address of the ONU is 192.168.1.1. So you have to set your computer IP in the 1.1 series. Here, I am giving 192.168.1.8. Then click on the subnet mask column. Click OK. Again OK, then close. You can close this window as well. Now open a web browser. In the URL column, enter the default IP address of the ONU. 192.168.1.1 Then press Enter. This is the login interface of the HG323. RGW Realtek Chipset VD5. The username is admin. The default password is the same, stdonu101. Then enter the captcha. If you are not able to see the captcha, click on the captcha box and it will refresh. Here we need to change the default password of the ONU. Click Submit. Then click OK again. You can now log in to the ONU using the new password. Now we are logged in to the ONU. This is the device basic information page. Here we can see the device model, hardware version, software or firmware version, and serial number. Once you scroll down, you can see the CPU usage and memory usage. All the basic information is shown here. At the top of the window, you can see the log out button. If you want to log out, click on it. Under status, there are some additional options like WAN information and PON information. In WAN information, you can see the IPv4 WAN information, IPv6 WAN information, and the VoIP information. Next is PON information. Here we can see whether the PON mode is EPON or GPON. I have connected this ONU to an EPON OLT, which is why the PON mode is EPON. It is registered and certified. You can also see RX power, TX power, temperature, TX bytes and other details. Now I am going to configure an internet service in this ONT. First, click on Network. Then click on WAN. This is the page for configuring internet, voice or any other service. First, I am going to configure the internet service. Click on Mode. Change it from Bridge to Route. Select IPv4. The connection mode depends on the details you get from your ISP. I am configuring the internet using a username and password, so I am selecting PPPoE. NAT is enabled by default. If NAT is not enabled, you must enable it manually. VLAN is optional. If your ISP provides a VLAN, enable the VLAN option and enter the VLAN ID. Here my VLAN is 100, so I am entering VLAN 100. The MTU is 1492 by default. If the ISP provides a specific MTU value, you can change it. Here I am not changing this. Now I am entering the PPPoE username and password. This is the username and password for configuring the internet service. The service mode should be internet because we are configuring internet service.
there is no need to disable LAN DHCP. If you click on it, LAN DHCP will be disabled, so do not disable it. Lastly, you need to bind all the ports. Right now, LAN 1, LAN 2 and Wi-Fi are shown in black because they are disabled. Once you select them, they turn blue. Now I am selecting LAN 1, LAN 2 and the default Wi-Fi, 2.4G root. Root means the default Wi-Fi. AP1, AP2 are for creating additional Wi-Fi networks. During configuration, you can bind all SSIDs. Then click Submit. OK, the configuration is done. If you want to delete the configuration, there is a Delete. After the configuration, you can see the Delete button is showing here. So if you want to delete any configuration, select from here and you can press on the Delete button. Now the internet configuration is done. To check the connection, click Status, then WAN Info and select IPv4 WAN Information. This is the internet configuration. You can see the status is up, which means the internet is connected. The MAC details, subnet mask, IP address and status are shown here. This is how we configure internet service in this ONT. Now let's configure the voice service. Again, click on Network, WAN, then click Add New WAN. Change the mode to Route, select IPv4. I am configuring the voice service in DHCP mode. So select the connection mode as DHCP. Enable VLAN and enter the voice VLAN, which is 2222. Change the service mode to VOIP. In some ONU models, it appears as voice. Here it shows VOIP. Select it and click Submit. The first step of voice configuration is completed. Now check the status. Click on Status, WAN Info. My voice status shows down because there is no voice service in this room. That's why the connection shows down. The second step of voice configuration. Click on Application, then VOIP Basic Settings. Change the server type to Soft Switch SIP. Here, enter the primary SIP registrar address. The first five columns should have the same address. This address will be provided by the ISP. Enable the outbound proxy. No need to fill the other section. Scroll down and enable line user account. Enter the account number. My account number is 7002. During configuration, enter the correct telephone number. The number should start with the country code. For example, if my number is 2251539, you need to enter plus 91 before it. If you want to see the password, click on the I icon. Then click Submit. Again, go to Status, WAN Info. Scroll down. Here you can see the VoIP information. If you enter the correct details and SIP IPs, the port state will show Registered. Here it is showing Registering because as I mentioned, there is no voice service here. I am only demonstrating the configuration steps. One more thing. Go to Application, Advanced NAT. Make sure the SIP protocol is enabled. If it is disabled, the voice service will not work. By default, it is enabled, but in some ONUs, it may not be. So you must manually enable it and click Submit. This is how we configure voice and internet service in this ONT. Now we can check some Wi-Fi settings. To change Wi-Fi settings, click Network, then WLAN, then 2.4G. HG323RGW is a single-band ONT. 
so it has only one Wi-Fi frequency, 2.4 GHz. Click on 2.4G. This is the WLAN basic settings page. If you disable the WLAN interface, all the options will be disabled. You can change the band and mode here. The main setting is the SSID, which is the Wi-Fi name. If you want to change it, you can do that here. Then click Submit. If you want to change the channel width, you can do so from this option. After that, click Submit. The SSID will change. Scroll down and you can see the SSIDs. Here, only one Wi-Fi is available, which is the default Wi-Fi. We changed the name to Training Wi-Fi. Select it and if you want to change the encryption, you can select it and click Submit. The WPA cipher suite can also be changed if needed. The Wi-Fi password is shown here. Click the eye icon to view it. If you want to change it, clear the field and enter a new password. Scroll down again. Here you can create multiple SSIDs. If you want to create an additional Wi-Fi network, enable this access point. Then select the SSID name and set the password for the new Wi-Fi. At the bottom, there is an option for WPS settings. By default, WPS is enabled. If you want to disable it, this is where you can do it. These are the basic Wi-Fi settings in this ONT. On the left side, there is a Wi-Fi client option and a parental control option. If you want to create parental control, you can create a family group and assign a particular SSID to each user. For example, guest Wi-Fi and home user Wi-Fi. This is all about the basic information of HG323RGW. Thank you.